at Darnington. It is a race circuit in the heart of England. It is December the 14th, it is minus three degrees. That can only mean one thing, drift day. However, it's also a very significant day because it is the last day of the year that I shall drive the Speciali in the UK. Big news coming about that very shortly, which I shall announce later on in this video, but also some other amazing news. The Mr. JWW styles have arrived. We've got t-shirts coming, uh, launching on the website next year. I know guys, if you've been watching this channel a lot, you'll be like, when's this site coming? But I want to do it right. Uh, we're not here to sell merch. We want to represent a lifestyle for all of us petrol heads out there who just love cars and travel and adventure. Um, so we're using this drift day as a backdrop to uh, shoot this stuff while we're actually doing what we normally do. I'm genuinely here on a drift day, but we brought Rich along capturing some uh, great shots uh, in order to, uh, yeah, as always, immerse you guys in this experience, get some cool shots of the styles for the website, and then also tell you about some big news coming up with the 458 Speciali. Speaking of which, let's go sideways. Simultaneously, Rich is here shooting the Mr. J WW Styles, which are coming soon. And that is also why you're probably looking at me thinking, why has he got a totally different outfit on yeah, right every now? Five minutes, every five minutes, <laughs> I keep changing outfits so that we can fit in as that's many just, styles as we roll, can. Like. Just how I roll, mate. I just walk around with a wardrobe behind me, Minimum swapping three, out stuff. Three yeah, today. that's it, man. So it's been good. Anyway, we kind of, um, I guess. The whole idea is like I, I really didn't want this stuff to be merch. You yeah, know what I mean? Like I didn't want a, a sort of fruit of the loom T-shirt with a logo on it. I want I want to give you guys something of value and something that very much sort of represents a lifestyle. Yeah. How's it been for you? All right. That's been amazing. Because I never know what Rich has got until he he just he comes back to me and then, like next week he'll send me a link. And this is the most magnificent photography you've ever seen. And I don't know where he gets it from because oh. I just let him get on with it. You know, it's no, wicked. Jesus. Um, well, the, the crazy thing is, is, I don't know if it's something to do with your positivity, but 
we have never, I mean, it's December now, middle of December. It's middle of December. And there's blue skies and the sun is shining. I mean, we went to bed last night and it was snowing. Yeah. And we woke up and, and it was well. just right. Now, big news I mentioned in the video earlier. Uh, I said, this is the last time this year that I'm going to be driving this car. And the important bit is in this country. Yeah. Okay. So. If you've been following my social media, Twitter, Instagram, uh, I've been teasing a few clips saying that there's a big adventure planned with this car next year. Um, sure enough, I have teamed up with Emirates again and NVN, who are a paint protection film company in Dubai, to fly the Speciali to Dubai in January for two weeks. I cannot actually believe that. So, like, sometimes when I drive my car to the south of France, that feels abstract. You know, like, when you see a car that's so familiar in your normal life, then you see it so far removed from home. Like, when I see it in France, it feels a bit weird. To see this car, effectively in the desert, halfway around the planet, is going to be ridiculous. I Honestly, man, I just, I, I can't believe it's, it's happening. Um, and of course, we can't send it out there for just a few days. It's gonna go out there for two weeks. Um, and of course, we've got loads of cool content planned. One of the things that I really wanna do, and I'm looking forward to the most, is driving Jebel J's in this car. Taking you know what I mean? And that's holiday. Taking the car on holidays. It's just ridiculous. You, you come to the airport and you're like, yeah. wallet, passport, <laughs> car, yeah. Car, car check. Let's <laughs> pay this. So one thing I haven't spoken about on camera is that I have actually had part of the car resprayed lately. While it's nice and clean, it's probably a good opportunity to show you about. Um, front of the car, so when I got it, there was never any paint protection film on the car. So front of the car has been resprayed for stone chips and things like that. But the main area uh, is behind these areas. These, despite them clearly being called fins, uh, Ferrari refer to them as side molders. The the purpose of them is aero, channeling air from the front of the car down the side and behind these nolders here. The thing is, they do such a good job of channeling air that all of the dirt and grime comes down here and this is just a primary impact zone for pebbles. Um, and so actually when I bought the car, because it did have a few miles on it, this was just peppered, absolutely nailed. Um, so yeah, this has just come fresh from for Ferrari, from Spray Job, uh, and now it's looking really, really good. So. Sooner than later, uh, we really need to put some paint protection film on this thing to make sure that it's going to stay that way. A friend of mine is joining me to help me film in Dubai. Some seriously cool stuff happening there. Yes, go, go, go. So, here we are. This is my friend Adam. Hi. Um, over the next few days, Adam's helping me film. If you watch this channel, basically from day one, I mean day one, you helped me film the first Speciali. Yeah. Like, if you're a regular viewer, you might pick up on that I had a Speciali before this one, which is a Grigio Silverstone car. Um, Adam helped me helm. Helped me helm? <laughs> Adam helped me film half of that. It was on um, the pre collection when they set out all the. The pre collection, they set out all, all the wrapping. The wrapping on. On. Adam's been here since day one. Uh, it's very appropriate because we both went to school together. Here we did. And, uh, and now he, he, he gives me a helping hand with filming every now and again. If you've seen tracking shots with the F12, the LT, yeah. the GT3, basically any car oh, right. that you've seen that has a tracking yeah. shot, the chances are this guy's been hanging out of the boot of a Range Rover trying to keep his life together while we've been hooning it sunroof. around, around country. Yeah. The sunroof. Um, the perk of Adam is, yeah, how tall are you? Six foot seven. Six foot seven. So um, good leaders. Yeah, so I don't need to take a drone. Sometimes, do you remember when we used to film, they were like, man, that drone shot is wicked. 
legitimately it was Adam hanging out the sunroof of a Range Rover and it was, it was. good because we got some, yeah. some strong air there Clearly do. Um, so today or this evening even despite me fitting in some drifting in the beginning of the, the day we've rushed to Manchester Airport and we're heading to Dubai well actually our ultimate destination is Raz Al Khaimah okay. um, we're working with Alfa Romeo to drive the all new Stelvio Quadrifoglio now the significance of this being the beginning of this year, I went ice driving with Alfa Romeo and they had the um, Julia Quadrifoglio, yeah. which is fantastic. Over 500 brake horsepower engine, twin clutch gearbox, engine developed by Ferrari, very cool. Um, a car that I would genuinely, if I was in the market for an M3 or an M4, I probably would take that instead. Yeah. You don't see as many of them and they have yeah. a bit of panache, you know? Sound great. Sound great. Anyway. Lo and behold, when I was out there, I also drove on ice the, the standard Stelvio, and I said at the time, wouldn't it be cool if they put the drivetrain and engine from the Julia Quadrifoglio in the Stelvio and made a Stelvio Q? Lo and behold, March, Geneva Motor Show, yep, what sure. pops up on stage, uh, Stelvio Quadrifoglio, and today we're on our flight over to Dubai to end up in Ras Al Khaimah for the first dynamic drive of that car up a road that you are incredibly excited to go up. Jebel J's. Going up Jebel J's. So I basically, but like, one of my favorite driving roads in the world is Red Rock Road in the south of France. Possibly my all-time favorite driving road is this road. That's a big show. It is a big show. You, you'll see, I'm looking you will see, it. it's gonna be good. So yeah, heading out there. Adam's gonna be helping me. We're gonna be doing both a mixture of like dedicated car stuff and vlogs as well, because it's not like every day we wind up cruising around the desert in some cool cars. Yeah. Um, and you'll be, well, you'll hear me refer to him as Slink quite a lot because he's tall and thin. A lot of years. Like a Slinky. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to get on a plane now and very shortly uh, I'm going to edit the video that you're looking at right now of the drifting that, that happened earlier and then we're going to end up in, in Dubai. That's it. It's going to be great. <laughs>